What do you value in life? And what do you devalue in life? I have a mythical friend. I want to introduce her to you right now. Her first name is Ima, and her last name is Weiner. Ima Weiner. And she is the type of person that devalues everything in life. She never is able to see the good, especially when she looks into the mirror. Well, we can learn a lot from positive people in our life and also negative people on what to do or what not to do. In Matthew 13, verses 45 through 46, it says, The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. Upon finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had, and he bought it. When you find what is really of value in your life, you'll go after it. You'll leave the rest behind, especially the things that you've devalued in the past. Do you look for value instead of the flaws in people and in situations in your life? Maybe you have not always been a value seeker, but I ask you to join me today by becoming a value seeker. And from this moment on, you can be, and I even say you will be. The very attitude of beholding the best in yourself when you think about yourself or view yourself, the best in others, and in circumstances in your life is in itself a silent and a powerful message that calls out strength and beauty and truth from all of life. There is something of great value that is always ready to be expressed. God's Spirit is in every person. It's waiting to flow out as love and as kindness, as comfort and support. God is present in every atmosphere in which we live and move as a vital connection from one heart to another. And because we value the Spirit of God, we value everything and everyone in creation. Today... My friend, you are a value seeker.